Hey everybody, I uh, thought I'd show you my little catio that I designed. I've seen a lot of cool catio designs on the internet. Uh, I did mine a little bit different, so I thought it might help some people out. Uh, this is a uh, non-attached catio. It's not attached to a fence or um, the house externally. It's actually freestanding. And most of the models that I've seen uh, were attached. I have old fences and I don't really want to modify my house too much. So this is what I made, this little indoor area for my cats. I have, uh, we have three cats and they have this little indoor area to play. Um, they can only access this when we actually let them out, uh, but we do so from time to time. And this indoor area has an interior gate that we can walk out and go into our backyard. Um, but what I've done is, uh, I have very, very Houdini-like cats, and so I've actually, you can see here, I've put a screen on the top, and then actually also in the back there, put additional screening panels so they cannot get out because they were uh, remarkable. This is little, uh, I guess, I don't know, cherry netting that also prevents it, and it's lightweight so it doesn't affect the door. So you can see here, this is where I've built in the little extension where they're allowed to walk around, and these are ramps. So I really kind of based it on four six foot pieces of wood that's covered with the wesh um sorry wesh mesh wire material so here i am i'm going to be opening the gate here and we're just going to close it back up leave the cat inside and she enjoys the sun so you can see here i've used a staple gun i've also put down a sort of a plasticky material which allows it uh to avoid wood damage and I've covered it with sort of that sun tarp, which allows the uh, material to stay cool. I've done a tripod design, which allows me to have um, pretty good stability. This thing is very, very sturdy uh, without, again, actually hooking it up to the house. So I have sort of two tripods here. This is our first little area here. It's a little um, viewing area. I've covered it with a plastic material so it doesn't uh, collect water. And then again, that sun material. And the cats can uh, view us in the yard. And then they can also go up to this second level. You can see here I've extended this up with a wood brace in the middle to sort of the main cat tree area here, which allows light to come in, uh, but gives them a full view of the, the entire yard. And it's in a safe and protected area. You'll see here I've, uh, I've put all these wood. They actually do have feet on the bottom of the 2x4s, uh, the and it's on uh, some stone so that it's not going to have water damage. I also, of course, have um, put uh, stuff on all the wood to make sure it doesn't rot. You're going to see here I put up actually little lights underneath it, which allows it to be illuminated at night, which is controlled from inside the house. All of this brush had to be cut back because my cats, if they eat anything green, they immediately throw up. Um, but this will grow back quite rapidly, and so it will be pretty full underneath there. I just need to make sure it's trimmed back. So that's my catio.